Health for me, it's pretty simple. It's having a body or a mind to achieve what you want in life, to be able to live the life you want. So after my 13th birthday, I remember being in a room with just mum and a, and a doctor and I said, you've got diabetes. I had no idea what it was, didn't know what to expect. It's another thing to think about. So I think most guys just, once we turn up on game day, just worry about sipping on the Gatorade or putting their boots on. But for me, it's got to check my level. As long as you're able to live the life you want, I think that's health. My pancreas doesn't work too well, unfortunately, but it doesn't stop me from playing footy or going to uni or, or going out with friends. I'm happy with myself. Today, health for me is it's keeping a daily check. Hey, I'm Callum McFadden. I go to Wollongong University, part-time commerce study. I also play for the Sydney Swans uh, NEFL reserves team. Hey, I'm Lachlan Scott. I play for Western Sydney Wonders first team. I'm Stuart Mason. I moved down from the north coast, a small town called Stewart's Point. Um, I study here at Wollongong Uni and I play under 20s Dragons. I grew up in Wollongong. Um, I moved to Perth when I was nine years old. Uh, I grew up in Wollongong my whole life, so I lived down here in Mount Easley. And yeah, I've been there for 19 years now. Not really the academic side of things, mainly just being with your mates, um, making friends and yeah, having, getting to see them every day. I really enjoyed school. Um, a lot of great mates came out of it that I still talk to today. And they've um, had a big influence, both on my sporting and my um, social life. Um, I kind of just like school to go to with my mates and stuff. I didn't really get that much into schoolwork, but yeah, I like to go on for lifetime. I played, I played everything. I, I played soccer when I was real young, cricket, and then yeah, moved into rugby league when I was about 11 years old. Uh, my parents weren't too big on it. They were a little bit sort of um, cautious of me playing a contact sport. I guess mums are a bit like that. But I got to the age where soccer just wasn't enough, so I just needed, yeah, I just wanted to go and play with my mates. And moving to a new state and um, making friends over there. Um, it's just. Thing, and then that's what kept me in it eventually. Um, that's my most enjoy about footy is my teammates and the um, highs we share and the um, bond we make. I wanted to play footy when I was little, but then my dad thought I was going to be too small, so he threw me in soccer. And then, yeah, I just enjoyed it and just ran with it. Played ever since. Uh, I've played for the last two years, I've played in the local first grade competition, in the Illawarra Coal competition, and also under 20s. Uh, New South Wales or um, and New Swans Reserves? Probably Wanderers first team in the FFA Cup, so like Football Australia Cup or in the under 21 Australian team. But yeah, well, we're travelling to Vietnam on Tuesday, so we go away on Tuesday for three weeks. But um, last time it was in Laos, so we went to Laos and just a couple of teams to qualify for the upcoming qualifiers for the World Cup. For the first time stepping out in the field in first grade, I was I was nervous. Every part of my body was shaking. Um, I was playing with blokes that I'd sort of watched for a little while and looked up to, and then I was straight onto the field with them. A few ex NRL players were running around out there. It's surreal. It's um, it's nerve wracking, but once I got out there, that pressure all lifts, and you you're part of the action. You're one of them. Yeah, my first game, um, it was very nerve wracking. Especially walking into a um, change rooms with, um, you know, some of the people that you've been watching on TV, and that's probably the big thing you find that they actually are. You know, some people you look up to, and they're actually just, you know, pretty normal guys. But um, all the um, guys are great, and they really do get around you early on. And um, yeah, it was um, a bit different. Um, my third game for the Swans, you know, coming out with a legend like Adam Goods, you know, that was um, probably. On my career highs. Uh, yeah, it's definitely nerve-wracking, but uh, once you're on the field, it's, it's all the same. You get out there and just play your usual game and just enjoy it. Probably the most memorable thing start at the start of this year. I played in the under 20s charity Shield against the Rabbitohs. Um, yeah, my parents, parents are there, and they got to watch me play, which was a pretty special moment. In uh, under 16s, I think we played in a major semi-final. And I happened to get man of the match that day. And after the game, this bloke walked up to me and said, told me he was a rugby league manager. 
and um, he wanted to sort of take take me further. Um, a huge goal of mine was making the New South Wales Rams Nationals team and that was going away to Nationals and competing there. Um, that was huge and you know you got to play on some great stadiums um, all around the country so that was fun but yeah um, the Adam Goods game that I got to play with him in reserves. He's scoring on my debut for Wanderers that's definitely a memory I like to get. I've had a few injuries, a dislocated shoulder, um, ankle ligaments which set me back for a while. I tried to come back too early, injure myself again and uh, yeah, that, that kind of hit me hit me fairly hard. I didn't know where that was going to take me. Um, you get fairly depressed, you know, in a sense, not being not being able to be around the team, not playing. Um, I'm under 16 year, uh, which is a pretty important year in the AFL calendar for New South Wales. Um, I missed my whole season with a stress fracture in my back, and I didn't um, do anything for 10 months. For that 10 months, I was probably a different person. I was I was upset. Uh, yeah, was, you really do missing miss playing. Mum and Dad, I think, were around me a lot and helped me out a lot in that respect. Helped me get back onto the field and just tell me to look at the bigger picture, I guess, which is what you've got to do. Uh, I was pretty fortunate that I had a, um, actually two teammates go through a similar injury at a similar time. And um, yeah, just probably with them, just seeing what they're going. They came back before me, unfortunately. That was tough, but um, yeah, that just that I wasn't the only one. I guess sport affected my school. Some days I was only at school maybe two or three days a week and the rest was sports. So I guess in the end it probably did influence my marks a little bit or influence uh, my learning. I think at the end of school I was putting sport in front of my education um, but also trying to keep up with, with both. So. It didn't really affect, uh, I mean, I ended up in the place where I wanted to be, so it didn't affect it too uh, badly in the end. Um, throughout my year 12 studies um, with the New South Wales Rams, um, we had a lot of travel into Melbourne seven times with the TAC Cup and then Gold Coast and Tasmania for um, nationals. And, um, yeah, you're away most weekends and you know, uh, during the week you're up in Sydney training. So it did, but um, the responsibility is still on you and the school was good. Uh, yeah, definitely. It was hard to do both, like study and soccer. There was a lot of time I'd be in Sydney and I had tests coming up and I'd miss a lot of school because I was training and things like that. What it does is it just limits your time you can spend with people and I think um, people that aren't in that sort of environment don't understand how limited you are with the time you get and the, some of the sacrifices you have to make are friendships, I guess, in the end. Uh, no, if, if anything, it's actually helped me keep stronger, close relationships with my teammates. But um, in terms of family and friends, now nah, they've always been pretty close. Not really. I think it's, if anything, it's brought a couple closer just with all the travelling I've been doing and things like that. Like, I've made a lot of friends through it and just travelling out with my parents and stuff, just talking about the whole way, makes us a bit closer. If anything. I sort of did the first year uni thing that everyone does and comes in, gets, um, goes out every Wednesday, Thursday night, maybe on the weekends. But yeah, ever since I've played under 20s, I've, I haven't been drinking at all. Cut that back. You know, you know, growing up, 17, 18, 19, early 20s, um, you know, it's a fun time in your lives, and but you've got to realise your priorities, number one, and uh, the sport. And um, we have a six day um, drinking um, Band sort of thing, you're not allowed to consume alcohol you know, six days within a game. So. Obviously when you become 18, like, everyone starts drinking and stuff, but if you keep it to a minimum and just like have a few with your mates and don't go too overboard, it's, it's a good time. So. If you really want something, it doesn't matter what background you come from, uh, where you grow up, even if you're not the most talented when you're coming through, just stick to it. If that's, re if that's really what you want, decide to do it, stick to it, put in extras, do what other people won't so then later on you can do what other people can't prioritize probably just prioritize um, what you really want and uh, realize that study is important but at the same time um, you know go for your goals stick with it like keep going at it a lot of, a lot of people get knocked off track by like the drinking and your friends and stuff you want to be out with your friends all the time but you just gotta put that aside and stick with it because if you love it you'll get the rewards